Hey guys, welcome back. How are you all? In this video, we are going to discuss about CBSE sample paper for term 1 examination for class 10th. We will talk about question paper pattern, types of question asked, how the questions are divided into different sections, marks allocated for each question and few tips here and there as promised in the last video. In the last video, we have discussed about the syllabus and marks allocation for internal assessment. We have also discussed the latest updates in details. In case you haven't watched that video, you can click on the i button after watching this one. As you already know, science exam for term 1 is divided into two parts. Part 1 the objective exam and part 2 the internal assessment. Objective exam is for 40 marks. You will be writing in the offline mode. Internal assessment for term 1 is for 10 marks. The marks for internal will be sent by your school and the depth of this has already been discussed. And hence the total marks for term 1 is 40 plus 10 equal to 50 marks. Now. Let's talk about objective exam. The objective exam is for 40 marks. The questions are divided into three sections. Section A, Section B and Section C. Let's get into details of each section. Section A. Section A consists of 24 questions. From question number 1 to question number 24. Out of which you have to attempt any 20 questions. I suggest you to attempt only 20 questions out of 24. The best you know. You may raise a question here. What would happen if a student attempts more than 20 questions? In such a case, the student's first 20 attempts will only be considered for evaluation and rest will not be corrected irrespective of whether the answers are right or wrong. Now, what type of questions will be asked in this section? The questions could be simple MCQ types or MCQs based on diagrams, flowchart, graph, chemical reactions or equations or even data table. By simple MCQ, I mean the questions which are straight objective type with four options. For example, the question could be like this, simple. Which of the following are transparent? A wood, B wall, C water, D mirror. So it's a simple question and you have four options below. Hence you have to choose the correct option. Whereas the others are the multiple choice questions based on the data given in different forms as listed here on your screen. Now let's see section B. Section B2 consists of 24 questions from question number 25 to question number 48. Here also you have to attempt any 20 questions. And the type of questions being asked here are again it could be simple MCQs or MCQs based on diagrams, flowchart, graph or chemical equation and even data table. The new thing about section B is section B consists of assertion and reason type 2. According to the sample paper for question number 31 to 34 consists of assertion and reason type. Now what is this assertion and reason type question? In assertion and reason type questions two statements will be given to you. Statement 1 will be called as assertion and statement 2 will be called as reason. After reading these two statements, you have to mark one of the options. And what will be the options? Option A. Option A is assertion is correct, reason is correct and reason is correct explanation for assertion. Option B would be assertion is correct, reason is correct but reason is not the correct explanation for assertion. Option C. Assertion is correct but reason is false. Option D, assertion is false but reason is true. 
In order to answer these type of questions, you need little bit in-depth concept. And don't worry, we'll be solving many such type of questions in later videos. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, it's the right time to do. Then you will have questions based on practical situations. These questions are based on your lab practicals or the activities which are given in the textbook. In this a girl or a boy will be performing some lab activity and uh, they will mention its result or the observation and uh, they will say the observation is wrong or the observation has been made because and four options will be given below out of which you have to select the best option. So these are the types of questions you will see in section B. Now come to section C. In section C, you'll have 12 questions. These questions are from question number 49 to 60. Out of which you have to attempt any 10 questions. So you can see choice is provided in every section. Choice for four questions in section A, choice for four questions in section B and the choice of two questions in section C. Now what type of questions have been asked in section C? Let's see. There will be three case studies. These case studies are again the practical situations. They will give a big paragraph describing these cases. The sample paper has each case study related to biology, chemistry and physics. And each case study is followed by four questions. I think uh, you have got an idea how the question paper is going to be and hope that this video is really helpful for you. Now let's see the marks analysis. Before doing that, please note one thing. All questions carry equal marks. Now let's do the analysis. So section A, you have to attempt 20 questions. Section B, you have to again attempt 20 questions. And in section C, you have to attempt 10 questions. This makes total questions as 50 questions and you already know the total marks is 40 marks so 50 questions 40 marks now you can do the math now so marks for each question would be 40 by 50 how much is that 0 0.80 marks so each question would carry 0 0.80 marks now one thing you should remember here is there is no negative marking hence you would attempt all the questions in the question paper whether you know or not we'll be discussing how to answer the questions and also we will discuss the questions in the sample paper section by section subject by subject and until then you have to wait and the CBSE has also released the timetable yesterday and we will discuss about that timetable in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel and spread the word to your friends and family members and don't forget to like this video. And if you are having any doubts or related to the question paper or to related to the subject, please be free to write that in the comment section. So we'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.